All right, let's wing this. Check out the snow over there. Whoa! They could gore you. All right, so I have a question for you. What do you get when you have 10 guys, three girls from California go all the way to Denver, Colorado, surrounded by snow in 20 degree weather, and they have alcohol, they have rocks, and they have games, and there's one guy with a camera? Okay, if that was a A YouTube video. We are back with my first trip of the year to Colorado with some of my old high school friends and it was a blast. Now I've never traveled with this many people before like 13 is a lot. Most people just travel in groups of like four to six I think and uh, we were kind of expecting a lot of chaos to ensue but the trip went really smoothly and I'm glad that I have that data point to serve as an example of traveling with that many people because in June I'll be going to Iceland and all of you are invited. If you want to travel with me to take photos and to adventure out on the land of fire and ice, you totally can. There is a link down in the description below and it will show you the entire itinerary, what the price is, and there are eight of us total so far. I need all of you to come with us because it's going to be so fun. And we're going to take a bunch of great photos. So sign up down below if you're interested in traveling with me to Iceland in June. Now on to the Colorado story. So we all met up at the airport at 4 a.m. in the morning because we were about to jet off at 5.15 in the morning and we were going to start some of the craziest days of our traveling experiences. So on day one, we hit the ground running and we hit up this national park that I did quick research on and this place was called Garden of the Gods. But the most important things that I brought with me was my Mamiya 7, my Leica M6, and my Fuji TX1 and a whole buttload of film and I was ready to photograph the beautiful landscape of Colorado. I know you, your YouTube channel. Oh. Wait a second. Is that uh, what is Christopher's YouTube channel? When's Christopher Chu, right? <laughs> it's, when? it's a Y, it's a Y Christopher Chu. Oh, no, it's when, because like, you know, when's the time? Last minute too, because I know all my jacks are shit. Oh really? Where'd you get that? Uniqlo. Hey, hey, shout out to Uniqlo. Oh. Shout out to uh, Labor Laws. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, shout out to Labor Laws, man. I was actually very surprised I didn't see that much content on the Garden of the Gods, but if you plan to travel to Colorado in the coming days while there's still snow, it's a very easy walk. There's no real hiking. It's just paved paths everywhere. Parking is easily accessible, and this is just beautiful when it's snowy. During other seasons, I can't really attest to it, but I can't imagine it being as beautiful as it was when I went there.
So after a couple hours of walking around and taking photographs, my friends and I made our way over to the nearby Waffle House for some cheap old sustenance. And oh man, the vibes were good. The colors were great. Uh, there was this photo that I took of the yellow storefront and there was a puddle right below it in the parking lot. And it just looked like a nice colorful sandwich. And ooh, this is the, oh uh, man, dude, I can't even talk. The exterior of the storefront was so photogenic and even inside with the red seats and some of the people that were in there, oh, the photos were nice. So after that, we finally had time to go to our BNB, drop off our bags. We went out for a little quick dinner and we came back. Everybody was pretty fried at this time because we were just having such a long day. I loaded up my M6 to take a couple of shots of what was going on. There was a hot tub out back in, I think it was nine degree weather. And I got some good pictures throughout the night. What up, baby? The water is fine. Hey, dude. baby, how's the, how's the hot tub? Dude, you want to see how long I can hold my breath under this water? Yeah, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was nine seconds. How That's like nine seconds. How long was that? Shit, nine baby? seconds. Nine seconds. Dad, you impressed? I, I'm hella impressed. Dude. Hey, baby, you impressed? So I've never been in a fraternity before. My college experience did not involve that. I was too busy fretting over what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. But what transpired for the rest of the evening was what I would imagine would happen if I lived in a frat house. And oh, these people are crazy. But the photos were good. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Oh, my. <laughs> 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 People were headlocking each other, doing rear naked choke triangles, all this stuff, breaking arms and rolling around each other. I was like, yo, 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 yo. Let me take the shot real quick. Don't move. On day two, we decided to go out and adventure and have some good eats in downtown Denver. I've never been to this place, but it was a Saturday and boy, were the streets dead. I was kind of looking forward to doing some street photography out here, but it really wasn't that lively. So I just ended up taking pictures of my very interesting friends. So we were pretty much winging the day. I mean, like we were all pretty much down to do anything. So we hit up this bar to drink. We hit up this place to eat. And we ended up at this arcade and it was super fun to play like, you know, basketball, play some killer queen with each other. But ooh, I got my flash out and put it on my M6 and we hit this punching bag machine, which kind of like measures the strength and the power of your punch. And oh, these photos were some of my favorites. So the great thing that happened with these photos that I took along with probably other street photographers that are out there is the fact that the background has a lot of spontaneity happening. I was mainly focused on my friend that was punching the punching bag, right? I only focused on one subject, but the background had so much serendipitous humor and the compositions lined up so well. The settings of my camera was 1 15th of a second at f8, I think. I was shooting on a 35 millimeter lens and I have portrait 160 in my camera. And with the flash, everything combined, I get these nice little shutter drags that like would happen with the arcade lights going around because of the slow shutter speed. But with the flash, whatever comes in contact with that really intense light remains still, even though I was shooting at 1 15th of a shutter. So after the arcade, we got some quick dinner. We headed back to the B&B and oh, this night was crazy. I personally don't have that many photos or videos of what happened for the rest of the night, but my boy Arnell took out his camera and his flash and he got some great photos. Everyone gets a chance to drink.
my god, I almost died. <laughs> So day three started off pretty sweet. I was sleeping in like a little baby angel that I am till 1030 in the morning. And my friends woke up earlier than I did, which is probably not that hard for most people. And they surprised me for my 26th birthday. I walked out with my crusty old eyes and I was genuinely surprised and taken aback by the fact that they did this for me. Put it out. <laughs> <laughs> For my friends that are watching this and for all of you who wish me a happy birthday, thank you so much for all of that. But supposedly there was a chocolate cake that they bought. It was sitting on the kitchen counter or in the fridge, but nobody brought it out. And we ended up throwing it away at the end of the trip. I wonder why that happens. So for the rest of day three, we decided to let the gang split up and do whatever the heck they want. Some people went to an NBA game and the rest of us went to another national park called the Flatirons. So again, I was surprised to see not that much content about the Flatirons. It's a very beautiful place. And if you plan to go based off of my experience, I recommend going before 1 p.m. or 2 p.m because when I arrived, I think it was around 3 or 3.30, the sun was on the opposite side of the mountain. So everything was shaded, everything was backlit. So if you wanna see the flat irons front lit, go before 1 p.m. It's a very easy place to walk around. There are hiking trails if you want to do that. It's not as paved and easy as Garden of the Gods, but flat irons does have a really easy trail that I went up and these bros were icy. Uh, this mountain is kind of mid. We've, we've seen a lot of better ones like um, Garden of the Gods, but this one's okay, you know. Uh, we might, this might be our last hike because uh, um, we might get eaten uh, by bears, who knows? Maybe, uh, Asians, we don't do bears now. No, we don't do that. Bears do us. I can't wait to show up because it's deleted scenes. <laughs> Y'all have a cute breath. Y'all have a cute breath. Don't waste the frame. There's people out there with no frames. Oh no. And no water. And uh, Chris gave me. I love that guy, dude. I see him every day. What's up, Joe? How you doing, Joe? Hey. We're helping Michael because hey. he has the worst shoes in the group. <laughs> I wish I could use that. I just got that slide. You see that? <laughs> 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 So I felt like I didn't get that many good photos from the flat irons because of the time of day that I went, but I still enjoyed the stuff that I got. Thought it was really interesting that the snow is actually very bright and my light meter was saying to shoot at these things, but I'm like, yo, I'm in the shade. Turns out I exposed it correctly. Woohoo! So for the rest of the night, we monkeyed around, we chilled. On day four, our last day, we encountered a pretty big problem. We were in the final hours of our trip and we were going to this one last spot and my car's tire popped. We pulled off onto the side of the highway and it was so funny because we pulled up to the muddiest part of the shoulder and we had to replace this pop tire that was very inconveniently timed. So we fixed it, we went to the car rental place instead of meeting up with everybody else and the rest of the gang met up with us at the car rental place. We went to the airport. We were all pretty tired at this point because this Denver trip was very jam packed, took a lot of photos and I ended this trip with some TX1 X-Pan photos inside the airport. So with all that said and done, I would say that this trip was a great success. Traveling with 13 people is very difficult. 
I and many others were expecting something to go down, but nothing happened and it was smooth. So I really want to encourage that if you guys want to travel this year, I will be leading a big old group excursion to Iceland. And if you want to come, the description down in the below is containing a sign up link and I would definitely love to have all of you there. We're going to be doing a lot of photography, a lot of exploration and a lot of hanging out. Will we monkey around? I don't know but you have to come out and find out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, like this video down below and comment. And I will see you in a very good video very soon. Peace.